Let's do uh, young, The Young Offenders, written and directed by Peter Foote, inspired by um, news stories of a real-life seizure of one and a half tonnes of cocaine off the Irish coast in uh, 2007. So the story is basically of two young chances, Alex Mur- uh, Murphy and Chris Wally play Conor McSweeney, who is our narrator, and uh, Jock Murphy. Um, Jock is a legendary bicycle thief who has got a had a mask made up of a local thug called Billy. So he goes around stealing bikes with the mask on of this other person to get the other guy into trouble. Connor thinks that Jock is basically brilliant. And he basically wants to be, he just thinks he's the most brilliant thing, which is very, very depressing to his mum, who thinks that Jock is basically a wastrel. Uh, brilliantly played instantly by uh, Hilary Rose. They have small lives, but very, very big dreams. Uh, here's a clip from very early on in the film. What would you like to do? Think of something, think of something. What would you like to do? Pick anything you like, what would you like to do? Put me on the spot. Um, anything, like, come on. But you know, like, what's, what's the budget? One million? You just said it. I... Do you want me to choose, like, an activity or, like, an object? Whatever but... you want to do, just pick something, I mate. don't know, like, skydiving. Grant? No bother, you can go skydiving. You can, I, I'll get your plane and a parachute, and you can skydive all the time, whenever you want. Where would you like to live? Mansion. Mansion? Grand, not a bottle. We live in the city hall? Uh, well, Lord Mayor lives there, like. Well, yeah, we won't, we won't actually live in the city hall, but we make a gaff just like the city hall, you know what I mean? Looking over the city, Big right? Big mansion, looking over the city. We need a butler, or Yeah, to clean the house, yeah, we get one of them fellas, like. That man. Yeah, well, he could run, he could run the gaff with his like, English accent, but it'd be unbelievable, oh, right? I imagine waking up to that every morning. Yeah, wait. Right. What? 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 What's that, dude? <laughs> what? What you want for breakfast? You want some tea, son? <laughs> Whatever we went. That sounds amazing. Are they making that up? That sounds like improv. Isn't, to isn't me. it wonderful? So, so here's what happened. I didn't know anything about this film. For the rest of the story, then, is that there is a there, there is a, a seizure of drugs. That, and the story is that they've all been thrown over the side of the boat. So people are rushing to the beach to go and try and find one of these bags that will make them you know, money. And our heroes, anti-heroes, then steal bikes to go off and attempt to go. That's the plot. Um, so there's a bit of whiskey galore in there, and uh, you know some other other movies that come to mind. But essentially, I, I saw this. I didn't know anything about it. It was the last screening on Tuesday, and it was a fairly small screening, and I had no expectations whatsoever. And that scene is at the very beginning, and I started laughing, and then I laughed consistently all the way through. I thought it was lovely. It reminded me, to some extent, of uh, Adam and Paul. You know the Lenny Abramson movie, which was very much like kind of Samuel Beckett, Laurel and Hardy. And this is much more in the the, the comedy setting, it's much less of a sort of dark underlying tragedy than the Abramson. But there is an observational edge to it, which I think is very much like Adam and Paul. I thought the two lead performers were terrific. I, I just thought that the way in which they did that kind of hapless male bonding thing was really well observed. Funny beautifully deadpan uh, direction and beautifully deadpan performances, even as the drama, you know, starts to cycle out of control and spiral out of control and become, you know, tip over into uh, the ridiculous. There are some lovely moments of pathos as well. When one of our young heroes says to his mother, look, say something nice about me. Say, say, Say something nice about me. She says something and he goes... That's very vague. Can you not say something more specific? I mean, it was... It's touching and tender and really funny and really charming and and a, a, a treat, I have to say, in a week to know nothing about a movie and go in and enjoy it as much as I did.